In a related video, we explored why steel buildings can cost up to 50% less than other construction methods, including wood. But cost isn't the only important factor when it comes to a successful project. The material cost of pole barns can be competitive with steel until you reach about 5,000 square feet. But even with similar material pricing, building with wood can end up costing you more in the long run. For example, as a non-combustible material, it's often less expensive to insure an all-steel structure, and the annual maintenance costs involved in preserving timber far exceed those required by steel buildings. In the three most common strength tests, tensile, compressive, and shear, steel clearly outperforms wood. These characteristics of steel come into play when the building needs to withstand wind, snow, and seismic activity. Not to mention, wood is vulnerable to moisture and over time, rot can greatly reduce the initial strength of timber. Expansive soils are common throughout the United States, which can affect the primary framing supporting a pole barn. In pole barn construction, the poles are placed directly into the soil. If the soil moves, unaccounted for stress will be constantly forced on the structure, making its structural integrity questionable. In addition to expansive soils, animals and insects like raccoons, possums, mice, rats, and termites pose an existential threat to wooden buildings. These pests have little or no interest in steel. While we're on the topic of wood, one common misunderstanding is that a steel building can't be framed and finished like a traditionally built structure. Let's see why that isn't true. 